local mushroom farm. They sell their mushrooms at the downtown market and even teach you how to grow your own at home. I'm joined in studio by Trad Cotter with Mushroom Mountain and Easley. Thank you so much for being here with us, Trad. Thank you for having me. I've never met a Trad before. And if you have a cool name like that, you have to make cool products. Well, there's not many of us around. We're an endangered <laughs> species. So uh, yeah, we own Mushroom Mountain. We're a farm based out of Easley, South Carolina. And uh, we're, uh, we have a very strong presence down at the market in Greenville. Every time I walk past this booth on Saturday mornings, I'm always like, I really want to know the story behind, behind the, the mushroom farm. So tell us what you do. I mean, you, you know a lot about this. You've been doing it for a while. You even wrote the book on it. Yeah, literally wrote <laughs> the book. Uh, brand new book came out last year. It's a bestseller on Amazon. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, it's about uh, teaching everyone how to grow mushrooms mm -hmm. themselves. Uh, mushrooms are, uh, if you can grow a tomato, you can grow fresh organic mushrooms at home. So anyone can do this. You don't have to have any special powers to do it. Uh, no, no special powers. <laughs> uh, the mushrooms will give that to you. Um, so, yeah, so we grow a lot. We have a lot of different mushroom species at the farm. Mm -hmm. Not many people would recognize them. We have 200 different mushrooms at, uh, at the farm. I didn't even know there were 200 yeah. different mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So there's about 5,000 species in this area. Um, and we cultivate about 20 to 30 types just for edibility and mm -hmm. some of the other ones that we have brought in here we'll talk about are medicinal fungi and uh, some that are just not yeah, so recognizable. Because you guys do a lot of research uh, things at the farm too with like uh, some cool stuff you're going to tell us about mm -hmm. with things that you know kill ants or ant you know right. pesticides and things like that so um, tell us about some of the things on the table everything sure. on here is a, a form of a mushroom even this this one over here that I was looking at, I'm like, is this really a mushroom? Yeah, this is a beautiful fungus. This is called reishi. It's the um, mushroom of immortality. And um, one of the other producers are in here, is this really a mushroom? <laughs> uh, this is about a three month old. It takes three months to get like this. And uh, it, it stimulates your immune system, regulates sugar. So it's a very good mushroom for anyone who has diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're making a lot of products out of this, even making mushroom beer. <laughs> Medicinal mushroom beer, folks. Look, that's awesome. Look out. That's great. And some of the other things we have here, we probably won't be able to get to all of sure. them. But uh, We've got for the market, we have king oyster mushrooms, which we'll see in a minute. Yeah, Chef Sean put some of those. You took some over to him and you put them in the dish for yeah, us. So. They taste like scallops. These are wonderful and cultivated. We have our, um, looking here on the table, the shiitake mushrooms, which is our staple. A lot of people are familiar with shiitake. Yep, these are just growing on sawdust blocks. You see here that they've uh, got little gills. So they pop Very right cool. off just like this. <laughs> and, and you can teach people step by step oh, how sure. to do this. Yeah, we've got little kits and things. Uh, a lot of our business is uh, mail order uh, of these little plugs and you just drill a hole, plug these in logs and you get mm -hmm. shiitake mushrooms a couple of weeks later, so it's pretty easy. That's awesome. And I'm sure people always have questions about, well, my backyard looks like this. Can they actually grow in this? So mm -hmm. I, mean, I imagine you ask a lot of, answer a lot of questions oh, like sure. that. In the southeast, uh, upstate South Carolina, a lot of rainfall, especially this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, perfect humid environment for mushrooms. So if you, they got questions, you got, you got answers. Mm -hmm. Tell us about, I really want to know about the, the research angle of everything because I think that's really neat and I think people will find a, a lot of interest in that. Yeah, we've got a couple cool things going on here. I'll try to get this up so we can see it. Yeah, but it's, this it's is tough. A, yeah, it's tough. Uh, we may have to post a picture later. I have it, yeah. Uh, on, from his cell phone. But this is an um, ant that has uh, two mushrooms growing out the back of its brain. Um, these are ants that are parasitized and we're looking at these to replace fire ant killers. And so far, if we clone this fungus, put it in a gallery with fire ants, it kills the fire ants in like two to three days. That's, that's, that's really cool. Really and awesome. that's a really cool scientific approach to, oh, yeah, absolutely. to the mushrooms as well. The other cool thing we have here is these little bags. This is something new. It's got two little injection ports. So we do medical research where if you were to come into, let's say the, the hospital of the future, mm -hmm. and you have a, uh, let's say a strep or drug resistant strain of bacteria, I can take your throat culture and inject it into this bag, into this port, and this culture, this block of fungus, will, will exude an antibiotic that's specific to every patient that walks in the door. So it gets around drug resistance. I got goosebumps because uh, that's, it's true. That, that's really cool. It's a lot of fun. So there's a lot of possibilities with, with all this. Mm -hmm. Chef Sean, come on in. Chef Sean's been working on these, uh, these mushrooms, and I want to try some of these. And these are the shiitake? Mushrooms that the, you did These try? are maitake and also the round little dials is the uh, king oyster, the little round ones. So this is this mushroom in little rounds, sautéed uh, with a, a little butter and onions. Mm. Yeah, a little butter, a little salt. They're really, really good. good. Uh, they're very high in protein. Uh, they stimulate your immune system. 
Very good. So aren't they good? And like it stimulates smaller. protein too. I know. I'm, tra I'm eating it right in front of Trad yeah, here. I know. <laughs> hey, Trad, tell us how we get in touch with you. Obviously, you're going to be at the market on Saturdays, but you have a website that links to your book and mm -hmm. classes, mushroom hunting classes, all types of things yep, like that. We teach mushroom identification. We go to uh, mushroommountain.com and uh, we have a telephone number on there. You can reach us several different ways. Or, you know, even better, come down and see us at the market. Uh, we'll be down it's there a this great weekend. Way. And I'm doing a cooking demo this weekend. There you go. Perfect. So He'll be cooking up some of these. These are absolutely delicious. So definitely mm -hmm. go out and check it out. Chad, I'm going to hand this off to you. Oh, thank you, you. don't have to eat off my dirty yep. fork. I'm going to take him from the plate. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. Go visit them at the market. Later in Studio 62, we are dishing red, white, and blue with Chef Sean in today's Daily Dish. He has some recipes you can make for your family this holiday weekend. But next, they may be young, but they can move. The underdog crew from Asheville is in the house. Coming up next.